Hey, welcome back to American Whiskey Experience. To my left, maybe your right, who oh, knows, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is my buddy Pete. And this is James. Hello, everyone. And, uh, and we're going to sample, we're going to fresh crack uh, a store pick from Beverage King yeah. in Little Rock, Connecticut. And this is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof product. And yes, it is. And this is the legendary pick. Ugh, um, yeah, neither one guy. of us is a Patriots fan or... No. Eh, or really a Tom Brady fan, but you gotta respect, you gotta respect the guy. He he is the goat, as uh, you know people say right. in in the football world and sports world, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I give him credit for what he's doing. But my Giants beat him twice, so they, Eli they, Manning they, is better. There you go. But so so yeah. So what do we got? Elijah Craig what, Barrel. What, like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Okay. Um, it is a hundred and thirty four proof. Ooh. It is um, approximately nine years old. But we did find out yeah. that it's that it's ten, it's ten, correct? Yeah. So there's a, there's a story back on that. Um, but you know we'll we'll get into the story a little at the end. But it is a uh, it's it's labeled as a nine year. <clears throat> but uh, after speaking to the owner, who picked the uh, barrel out, and um, it's really a ten year, which is pretty interesting. So only this is the only ten year that was released in Connecticut. Oh really? Yeah. Very um, interesting. And you know there's going to be other releases coming out from other. Uh, package store owners, liquor stores. So, but this is the first one. So Elijah Craig, we all know about. Yep. Um, we've drank their products before. We did reviews on them, right? and we've had a few of their their barrel proof products as well. Yeah. Um, so the co cool thing about this one is that it was uh, it was greatly anticipated and sold out oh, extremely quickly. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one. Yeah. So uh, so we're excited to try it. Super excited. Yeah. So yeah. I think I mean. It was a first for them. Uh, they released it on a Friday night at 9 p.m. Yeah. Uh, at 9 p.m. and 30 seconds, 27 gone. seconds, gone. it was gone. Do you remember how many bottles he had? Over 100. Over 100, okay. Yeah. So right. I want to say 115, but I could be wrong on that. But I know it was over 100. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it sold out so quick. Oh. And I was actually online, and it, you know, it went into my carriage. But um, you know, so many people were doing the same thing. It just you know picked you know the first 100 and change out. You got in there, yeah. thankfully. Yeah, got one. So, uh, so we're able to uh, review this for our fans out yeah. there, and um, hopefully they have it as well someday. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, all right, what do you think of the color, first of all? That's a nice dark. Yeah. Dark color. Really dark. That is dark. You know, kind of a, a deep amber. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with something like a, uh, yeah, deep, a very deep amber. Um, you know, the lighting's pretty good here in the studio. <laughs> um, it's definitely dark. It, it slightly hugs, you know, yeah. but not 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 oily as on the the look of it. No, on the glass, but and again, this is over a hundred proof. So this is one hundred thirty four point four. Yeah, yeah, so that point four well, can make a difference. I don't really get a lot of ethanol, seeing it's no. that, that high proof. No. I get, I get, I get some cherry and vanilla. I do get a little cherry. I almost get a little more dried fruit too. Ooh. Wow. Not heavy oak. Some kind of mint, maybe. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a little spin and maybe like open it up a little. Like an astringent <clears throat> kind of. Uh... It's it's not a. Now this is again this is fresh cracks. So. Yeah, so you know, obviously the the first pour. I don't get that. I get a little. Let it sit a little bit, maybe. I get a little more of that. A little, a little hit of cherry, a little bit of, of dark fruit, even like appley. Yeah. Oh, appley, really? Yeah. So I gave it a spin. I'm still getting a little bit of some kind of. It's it's not a spearmint. It's not a peppermint. Like floral. It might like be like garden kind of floral. Yeah, yeah, okay. maybe more like that. A pleasant nose. It is very and, pleasant. And again, surprisingly, it's not more It does animal. not uh, smell like 134. It doesn't sniff no, like it. No. Um, well, I mean, and, I, I, and from my understanding, <laughs> from some what others said about it, um, is that it doesn't drink like 134. So I'm interested Probably, in that. Yeah, so, so here, cheers. cheers. Cheers to you. Right. 
interesting. I get still get that cherry, little yeah. sweet cherry. Mm-hmm. Now it's a little sweeter. It's almost like I get some of that inside of the chocolate covered cherry syrup. The, ju- the syrup in there, yeah. Right. We've gotten that before. We we yep. mentioned that on a couple different yep. things. Um, yeah. Um, I definitely get a little bit of floral as well. In there. There's a little sweetness there, like you the, mentioned. The yeah. sweet, the sweet is, is is more cherry for me. Um, now, where I didn't get a lot of, of, of woody oak on the nose, I get a little bit of that flavor here. Mm-hmm. Definitely packed full of flavor. It is. And, and the first uh, sip that I took, it was it was a big sip. I let it sit a little bit, and then I just wash it down, and it, it, it was a little bit of a burn. Really? Okay. But my second sip, you know, a, a nice, even sip, and I let it sit for a little bit, and it ended. It was smooth. It doesn't. It doesn't drink like 134. No, not at all. And this is, you know, the first pour, so right. it, you, it's always going to be a little stronger in the beginning. Let this sit a little bit more, a week or two. Come back to it. I guarantee you, it's even going to be even smoother at the end. Um, I'm not but, getting. I, I'm, I'm not. Still, I'm not getting even like a little candy, some type of candy in there. Um, almost like a. It's almost like a, a synthetic sugar. Like, yeah. like cherry, like uh, what were those those pick pixie sticks with the cherry? Well, you yeah, powder yeah. sticks. Okay. Yep. So what I'm what I'm if I'm thinking about candies right now, I, I, it's something like you know your grandmother would have in her purse. Well, those those old, little those little, little candies. Yeah, you know, and they were like cherry flavor. Uh, the butter scotches you always saw. Yeah, they, they, yep. you know, it would be cherry, lime, yeah, apple, lemon. and, and lemon. they weren't like the. the you know, the generic ones. Yeah, it, it, the, the apple didn't taste like apple or anything nope. like that, but it, they all <laughs> kind of tasted yeah. the same, you know, and, and you know, mm-hmm. had that lifesaver color to it, you know, the clear, you know, see-through candies. Yeah. Um, I'm getting some of that on there. Yeah, and, yeah and, and that artificial uh, yeah. sugar, sugar sweetness, yeah. yeah, and that's what it is. That's what it reminds me. Um, the nose is opening up as well. Oh, yeah. The more it sits in the glass. Yeah, I'm getting a little zest, like a. I, I actually get it. Like a citrus zest. Are you a little bit? Mm-hmm. I was gonna say I kind of even get some tickles the nose. So I, th- I kind of even get some for floral. Yeah. Like what you're talking oh, about? Oh, a lot more on there now. Like you're talking about like like some garden flavor, mm-hmm. some garden sm- smell, some some rose. Okay. Hmm, rose is interesting. Yeah, I get that now. Oh, power suggestions are my that. But, yeah, you know what? But, but but at the same point, you know, just oddly, I was I was trimming the rose bush outside see? this morning, and and I you know there's a couple right. roses on, and I took a sniff, and it, it brought me back to that. So, uh, you, you bring a good point up. Um, mm. Definitely a burst of flavor. Nice finish. I'm not getting wood. a lot of oakiness though on it. Not heavy wood. No, not, not at all. No, just it's subtle. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's, it's, it's the flavor is there. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a, t- a touch of a little bit of caramel. Mm. That a little bit of sweetness on the back of the tongue. Maybe now. that's the, yeah. that's that's what I'm getting now. But the finish lasts. It's very light. Yes. Yeah. Deceiving with the hundred. Yeah, because I I think sometimes, you know, the, the higher the proof, sometimes it feels heavy. to yes. Drink or something. Yep. Um, this good. is again. It doesn't drink like one thirty four point four. It doesn't drink is, heavy. I, I have to interrupt, but I think this actually drinks a little bit easier than some of the other Elijah Craig Barrel Crisp I've had before. Right. Um, for hmm. sure. All right. Yeah, so so uh, Private Barrel from Beverage King in Norwalk, Norwalk. Connecticut. Yep. It's the legendary pick. It's got, uh, oh, God. He, he, is, he is the best quarterback in our time, for sure. Kind of Derek Jeter of football. He, yeah. He, we'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. We'll give him that. But Derek is better. Of course. Um, so this was... Um, Again. Barrel series uh, number six zero nine eight nine six nine for those paying attention. <laughs> right uh, down. Yeah, Rick House W floor seven okay. again sixty seven point two percent alcohol by volume, so that right. brings us up to one thirty four point four. Uh, Beverage King in Norwalk, Norwalk, Connecticut. But um, so yeah, I mean, because this is obviously a yeah. once a, a once off, so we're yeah. not we're not going to see it again. No, you know. Well, I, He's, well, we'll see it again, but next year probably. probably yeah. He's probably going to do this once a year. But I it think. won't. It won't be the same. The same exact right. thing. Right. And, and and I tried his original Did you? Uh, legendary pick. Um, with yeah, and and it does taste totally different. Yeah. And it was a small yeah. little sample, but it does, from what I recall. Sure. sure. There's a difference on this. And again, it, it's labeled as a nine year, from my understanding. It's a ten. It's a ten year. What happened was when they got the samples. Um, they were like, okay, yeah, this is the one we want to go with. But it was later on when it was available. 
So there but was a time, time, right, time yeah, was it lapsed a little bit. So it's actually yeah. a ten year. Okay. Um, no one caught the nine year sticker, so that's pretty cool. To yeah. Be like, hey, this is a ten year. Right. Um, and I believe that was the only ten year in Connecticut at the time. Uh, for those you know yeah. that are watching, we are in Connecticut. So um, yeah, no, this, this is a good one. Honestly, I, I always enjoy store picks, and, and I always I always like mm -hmm. you know Harsha is is the owner of Beverage King. And uh, we kind of similar taste, I think, in a, in a lot of different yeah. different different things. So this is always it's always fun to try something he's put out. Yeah, it's it's good to find an owner that really enjoys you know yeah. whiskey, rye, and bourbons. Enjoys uh, the whiskey experience. No, yeah. and, and also very knowledgeable about plenty of other alcohol on yeah. there and beer as well. Oh sure, they got everything Great there. Store. Uh, easy access off the highway there. Yeah. Um, you know, off ninety five and yep. then route. 15 out of 7 or something like that. I don't know where it is. But it's 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 right off the it's highway in Norwalk. Yeah. Maybe. It's really easy to get to. Plenty of parking, too. Yeah. Um, you hang out in the parking lot and wait till the open. <laughs> yeah, we which do. we did. <laughs> we were there at like 8.30. He opens at 9. He showed right. up at 9, 10. Right. <laughs> we, were, we were walking in with the lights off. You know, the finish is really, you know, not to take away from the palate because the palate has so many Very different good. flavors. Very good. And I guarantee you we'll go back to this. Yeah. Uh, a week so, from now, uh, yeah, and it's going to be totally different. Sure, but the finish is really good on this. Still a lot of flavor like, here. there's there's wow. flavor on that finish, and it, it's coming back, and you feel it still. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I was worried that one thirty four. You know, I wasn't sure how strong it was going to right. be. I'm I'm super happy with yeah, this. Yeah, that's great. I'm I'm upset that I didn't get a bottle right. of it. Right, right, I did. But so I'm happy we'll you share. did, and we can oh, share it a little we'll bit. Absolutely. And um, that's what you know, and that's that's the whole thing about this is sharing. You know what you buy and you're drinking. You know, don't let it collect yeah, dust. Open it's, it up. It's the whiskey experience. It is. You know, it, is. it really is. Is sharing with friends, sharing with family, mm -hmm. having a good time, having a good conversation over a glass of whiskey. That's yeah. what we're all about. So uh, little clo clover, clove, clove, clove. Some small. Well, there's definitely some spice in the finish. Yeah, there is. I definitely get some spices. Uh, but sure. very light though. No, but not overpowering. It's very no. well balanced. Well balanced. Yeah, yes. that, that's a good, good adjective. Good description. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I we could keep we could sit here for another ten minutes and talking about this and sipping this and trust me, we want to. Yeah. But you know, we there's a couple other videos we want to do as well for you, and uh, there's some other research we want to do. So I think we're gonna end this yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Let's wrap. Let's wrap it up. So again, thanks for uh, tuning, in. tuning in. Yeah. Check us out on uh, Instagram, yeah, Facebook, Instagram. and uh, obviously you're looking at YouTube. And YouTube, yeah. All right. All right. And Cheers. any suggestions, we'll take them. We yeah. appreciate it. All there right. Go. Hey, man. Cheers. Cheers to you, Pete. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good.